In this video, we will learn applications of variance and standard deviation. In particular, we'll learn how to calculate variance and standard deviation on your TI calculators. First, let's review what variance and standard deviation are. What they are are both measures of spread or measures of the spread of data. which means they tell you how far apart or how close together the numbers in your data set are. The larger the variance or the larger the standard deviation, the more varied or spread out your data is. Variance and standard deviation are related. The symbol for standard deviation is the Greek letter sigma that looks like this. Variance is standard deviation squared. So we notate that by just writing sigma squared. So what this means is if you know variance or you know standard deviation, you can easily find the other of those two by either squaring or finding the square root. Using your calculator, it's pretty easy to figure out standard deviation. And then once you know standard deviation, you can square it to find variance. So let's figure out how you find standard deviation of a data set in your calculator or using your calculator. So the first thing you need to know is, or you need to have is a set of data. So a bunch of numbers for your data set. Once you have those, you're going to enter them into your calculator as a list. So you're going to push stat and it comes up with edit and you're going to select edit and you can see your list. I've already entered in a bunch of data in list one, but you would want to start by entering in your own data. Once you have your data in there, we're going to do some calculations on it. So go back into stat, but this time scroll over to calc and make sure that you have highlighted one variable stats, one variable statistics and click enter. Now it wants to know what list are we doing this for. We are doing it for list one, so we don't need to change that. And we can calculate. Now a bunch of different statistics are shown when we do this. We have the first one is our mean. So the mean for these numbers was 47.17. So let's just write that down. We also see the sum of X, so that's the sum of all of our data was 802. And what we're going to look at with standard deviation is right down here. We see the sigma sig symbol, sigma X, and it says 6.81. That's our standard deviation. So sigma, our standard deviation is 6.81. So what that means is about 68% of the data was within 6.81 points of the mean of 47.17. So 68% of the data was about between 40 and 54. Because that's what standard deviation helps to tell you is how many data points were within a certain amount of the mean. Now, once we know standard deviation, how can we figure out variance? Think back up to here, variance is just standard deviation squared. So if this was our standard deviation, and if we want to find the variance, all we have to do is figure out 6.81 squared. So you can go back to your home screen and type 6.81 squared, enter, and we get our variance is 46. 0.38 approximately. And again, this is standard deviation. That's the one that the calculator tells you in your one variable statistics menu. And this is the variance.